What is up, my good people? The name is Pixel Love, and we are back again with another episode of Amori. Apparently, uh, I decided to talk with all these people, and some of them are really unhappy with me right now, saying that the Lord will judge me and just like that. And I know I ended off last episode by saying, you know, like, I, I, I myself, as somebody who doesn't believe in the Lord or anything like that, I myself actually do feel comfortable talking with, like, uh, more, like, religious holy peoples in terms for like moral stuff moral questioning and whatnot but these kind of people who keep saying that the lord will judge on me i'm going to hell and damnation you're kind of one of the reason why i don't really like the church at all i also realized that, the, that these people over here um they they are actually the family of michael or should i say i already forgot what was his name what was his name the maverick the maverick i i <laughs> Uh, his name is so forgettable. I had to. I had to go to my previous recording just to see what his name was. Would you look at that? This law is pretty quiet, isn't it? You can't hear the hustle and the bustle of the streets here at all. <laughs> the only things here are wandering spirits. Oh, and me, of course. What's with that look? I ain't dead yet. <laughs> You do you, my guy. You do you. The symbol of faraway town. It's supposed to represent a gateway to a better life. You remember learning about it in class when you were in elementary school, but you can't remember all the details. Hmm. Our dearest Mari. The sun shined brighter when she was here. Mari. Feels like so long ago already. I still think about her all the time. I'm sure you do too. You know, when Mari passed away, Hiro, Hiro really stopped caring about everything. He didn't want to get out of bed for school or even eat. He stopped taking care of himself. Stopped baking and cooking. It was like that for almost a year. Mom and dad didn't know what to do either. We all tried to help him and be supportive, but Nothing was really working. One night, I went over to him while he was huddled in his blankets and started saying stuff. Stuff like how we all miss him and how we want him to get better. How everyone is really worried. How Mari wouldn't want to see him like this. I thought I was helping him, but... But Hero, Hero got angry. He suddenly got up and started screaming and yelling at me about a bunch of stuff. Some of it was pretty hurtful too. But I think I blocked that a lot of it. His eyes were already super red. But the more he yelled at me, the harder he cried. I tried my best to calm him down. But whatever I just whatever I said it just made him worse. I'd never seen Hero do anything close to that before. It really took me by surprise. And I was so scared of that. Well, I started crying too. Eventually, Mom and Dad ran to our room and rushed over to hug him and calm him down. But they completely ignored me. <laughs> I think that's where Hero got his senses back because he ran to me and hugged me right away. Just kept apologizing over and over. But at least Hero got a lot better after that. He started taking care of himself again and focusing on school a lot more. And joining a bunch of extracurricular stuff. He's naturally good at everything, but he still works really hard, so I'm proud of him. I guess he's a little more closed off now than he used to be, but I'm really just glad to have my brother back. Anyway, sorry for the long story. I don't think I've ever told anyone that before. It's not his fault, but I still think Hero blames himself for Mari's death. He was never visited here. Not even once. I know it really hurts, but maybe it might be good for him. I don't know. You know, a bit of me is thinking about putting in this warning, uh, putting in the warning, uh, even though I'm like, what, five minutes into the recording and I haven't really seen anything yet. I'm probably going to put the warning on just because I'm going to be talking about like some of my experience and whatnot. So um, about two, three years ago, somewhere around that time, I was informed that uh, my cousin had unfortunately passed away due to suicide. And the last time I talked with him, we didn't end off 
on a great note. Um, but during the funeral, like, I saw him in, because it, it was an open casket, and well, I did cry for him. I yearned for him. Because nobody like him, for as young as he was, he was 18 at the time, he didn't deserve to die. And I truly believe that had he been able to talk with somebody, he would have still be standing today. And well, that did hit. It hit me a bit. But the rest of my family is so like uncles and aunts. It definitely hit them way harder. Especially one of my uncles um, who kind of looked at him like a child as a son and a bit of me is kind of feeling sorry for him because I do know he tried to reach out to me but I never answered because my 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 position at that point in time is why would he why why would he answer to me why would he try to call me 17 years later when he never did before is he trying to find a replacement that was my reasoning back then and now I find that just to be stupid. I feel awful now that I've just never called him back, never texted him. He did eventually stop, but I guess that's just one of the bad things about me. That um I, I'm not I'm not much of a talker with the rest of my family because I don't know them. But you know so just recently, like I tried asking my uncle, another one of my uncles, I told him I was like, when is the next like family reunion? Because typically our family kind of like reunites together for maybe like Christmas or New Year's or whatnot. And um You know, no no the only reason I know this is because like my mother would take me there by force. But this was the first time that I truly asked him, being like, Hey, I kinda wanna join, can you tell me when? As I do want to reunite with some uncles and aunts and cousins that I ha I really haven't seen since like the pandemic or whatnot. So there's that. And uh, just recently as well, just recently as well, I was informed that my brother, technically he's a he's my half brother, but I still find him as a brother regardless. I, I'm starting to call him now, just that my brother, because he is. Um, he recently also tried to take his life. Both him and my cousin kind of had like the same reason, like a really heavy breakup and whatnot. And thankfully he survived. Thankfully he did survive. And I actually did spend Christmas with him. You know, I, I did try to talk with him being like, hey, yo, what happened over here? No, if you ever need anyone to talk to, just come to me and whatnot. I'd be more than happy to talk with you because I am. He's my brother. And I've really never had that experience with him, actually. Whereas I have another brother who I may have had some bad experience with and my sister. But this one in particular, I never had a problem with. And even during this Christmas, like, we, we had a great time, you know. He's not much of a talker either. I, I'm, com me compared to him, I'm way more of a talker than he is. But even then, we did spend time just like talking about life and shit, and, you know. Even playing some Mario Party and, and some Monopoly and all that and whatnot. But I'm glad that he's doing well. I'm glad that he's still able to walk. And he's still able to live life. And I... I'm truly happy that I'm able to at least talk with him. You know, have time, uh, have time, spend quality time with him. Enjoy Christmas together. Because Christmas isn't really that fun for me these days. Kind of just lonely. Just me and my dad. But with him around, it actually made things feel a lot more better. And then there's me. About six, five, Five to seven years ago, I, on average six, probably six, six years ago, I was definitely in like my lowest, at my lowest point in life. I just felt the world just didn't want me. It kept crumbling down. 
and while I didn't necessarily make an attempt, the thoughts were just there constantly. And when you're just that negative, that depressed, and that sad, it really drains you down. It drains you down to the point where you're tired all the time, you just want to sleep. And then after that, the grades fell down and like that wasn't helping at all either. It's just, it's just this, it's an actual cycle of misery. I know there's some memes out there that's like the cycle of misery and whatnot, but this is actually a true thing. It's a cycle of misery if, you know, if you, if you don't get help or whatnot. Like I said before, I didn't attempt anything. Uh, to this day, I really don't understand how I was able to get out of it. Honestly, the only thing, the only reason I can really give is just time. I just let time pass and eventually, you know, the thoughts got better, I guess. But even then, three years after that, I was diagnosed with chronic depression. And I still kind of laughed at I, I laughed at it at that point in time because I was like, well, I'm not really that depressed. And then like one month later, I felt pretty shitty, pretty low. I had those thoughts come back once again. And so maybe I should have taken my doctor seriously a bit. But just recently, about, I want to say two, three months ago, I decided that I would go to a new doctor for different reasons, different reasons. But with this one, I did tell her, I was like, look, I've been diagnosed with chronic depression um, three years ago. And I want to do something about it. Unfortunately for me and my bastard ass, I don't have insurance, so I can't go to a therapy. <laughs> um, I'll try. I'm gonna try to change that. At the time of me recording this, I am planning on picking up a job so I can uh, a job that hopefully offers me insurance because I desperately need that because they're definitely ain't gonna pass Medicaid in time for me to get it back again. So I just need insurance ASAP. But I was given some antidepressants, which I'm still taking to this day, which is actually, actually, I'm still going to be taking antidepressants until April. April is when I have my next doctor's appointment and I'm going to tell her whether or not she wants to take me off those pills. But um, it's not like heavy medication. It's just one pill a day. It's just a small pill, but um, I haven't felt sad at all. I originally thought that I was like, oh, you know what? Uh, I thought these weren't going to work at all, but, you know, I haven't really felt depressed. I haven't felt sad. I haven't even had the urge to cry or anything like that just recently. The only, the only time that I had close to doing crying or whatnot, or just like feeling sad was like when I saw Basil's reaction to the photo that she saw. He saw, my bad, to the photo that he saw. And just making that warning because, you know, suicide is actually a thing I take seriously. Considering the amount of, unfortunately, the amount of experience that I had to go through. But, um, yeah, just talk with people, please, you know. And there was something that did kind of hit me. Before I went back to white space. Basil did say, Mari, she's, and then the little glitch happened. And my buddy actually told me, he's like, did you actually see what was in that frame, uh, what was in that frame picture? The picture that glitched out. And I did see what was in there, because I edit frame by frame. I'm able to see what that frame picture was. I know that I said that I would not show footage of that previous episode, but because this image isn't, like, violent or anything like that, it looks like, if I remember correctly, because I don't have the image in front of me, it looks like some sort of like Mexican violin or whatnot. If you ever played Loteria, you would understand what I mean by that. But I, I don't understand what it's supposed to be. But so the end, the end of this story is just that, you know, seek help. You know, I understand that some people hate the idea of asking for help. I hate the idea of asking for help too sometimes. I feel like I should put in my own, my end of the shtick and whatnot. But this is just something beyond your, this is just something beyond your ability. There we go. 
because helping really uh, uh, talking really does help a lot and if you have a friend who's feeling someone like that you should talk with him as well now i don't know what happened tomorrow over here i don't i'm not gonna be here saying that she may have committed suicide or if something else happened from the sounds of it it could it from the sounds of it it is leading on to that but still if you ever just need to talk with someone, talk with your friends, families. If you can't do that, seek help. You know, I, I put that number. I put that number in the video, not just not just to clear my conscience or whatnot, but because if you really do not have anyone to talk to, this is a free number that you could talk with, ask for some professional help and whatnot. And studies shown that this number does help a lot. So, you know, I will forever hammer this till the end of dawn, till the cows come home. Please take care of yourselves. You know, you matter, you matter a lot to this world. Whether you believe so or not, you matter to this world. To the person who's watching this right now and who thinks to himself, him or herself or themselves, that they don't matter to the world, you're wrong. You do matter. And once you get out of this, this rut, this gutter, it will take some time. Don't get me wrong, it will take some time. But once you're out of the scudder, take the world by storm. Grab it by its balls. Because <laughs> you matter. And don't let anyone tell you you don't. Well, let's see what let's see what outside here is cooking for us. Looks like we're in the afternoon already. But yes, thanks for coming to my little sermon. We still need to find Aubrey in the photo album, but shit, what do we do now? We don't even know where she is, do we? Where do we go now from here? Hold up. She, she lives here? She lived here the entire time? She threw away the photo album. I heard the pages flip. Oh, man. Did you see that? Aubrey just dumped something into her trash can. Let's go check it out. God. You really, we really have to check someone's trash, do we? Whoa! I don't believe it! It's Basil's photo album! I can't believe she would just throw it out like that. It's a good thing we looked at her, this trash can. But on the bright side, at least we have Basil's photo album now. And it only took us half a day, too! Talk about teamwork! How about a high five, Sonny? Yes, sir! Let's go! <laughs> Let's give this back to Basil before it gets dark. Oh, come on, Steam! You really have to freak the fuck out now! I'll be so happy when he sees it. Aubrey? I'm sorry! Please? What, what does she mean by she was protecting it? Protecting it from who? Basil! Knock knock! Basil! It's her friends! Kel and Sunny! Oh, what's up? Oh, hello there! Who are you? Hi, Basil! Oh wait, you're not Basil! Ah, I'm sorry! My name is Polly! I'm Basil's caretaker. Oh, uh, hey, Kel. Uh, what is it? Hi, Basil! We got your photo album back! Huh? Y you did? Wow! Thank you! Basil! You didn't tell me you had friends coming over. Would you like to join us for dinner? I always seem to cook just a little too much. Dinner? Sure! Sounds delicious! Come on, Sonny! Free dinner! Yeah, come on, Sonny. It's not like we're gonna get anything back home, are we? Alright. Please make yourself at home. I'll go ahead and finish up the food. Wow, it's been a while since I've been in here. You definitely have a lot more plants than you used to. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I like them a lot. 
Actually, there's some that are still alive from when you guys came here more often. Wow, you sure are dedicated. Yep, that's Basil for you. Flowers and photos. Oh, that reminds me. Now that we got your photo album back, we can all go through the photos together. Uh, that, that's a... I don't know. It's been a while since you've looked through them, hasn't it? Come on, it'll be fun. Um... Sh sure, okay. Alright, come on. Let's check this photo album back. Let's check out this bitch. Here it is. Oh, what is this? My first photo. It's my best friend Sonny trying on his new violin. He's starting to take lessons again so he can play at recitals with his sister Mari. A violin! Dude! Dude! It's the violin from the photo he lost! So exciting. <laughs> Kel. Just Kel being Kel. So many party hats. February 18th. Shit! Are you kidding me? Basil's birthday just passed. You're choking the mummies. <laughs> Fuck! I missed it. Sunny playing a video game on the couch. Sunny is a little shy, but he's a really good listener. I always end up venting to him when I get upset or stressed. Sometimes I feel like I'm bothering him, but he never seems to mind. We're back from the park, but Kel is still full of energy. He challenged Hero to an arm wrestling match, but we all know who's going to win. Aw, oh, Hero. Please go easy on him, Hero. <laughs> he didn't go easy! Oof. Sorry, Kel. Better luck next time. Kel was still feeling a little sour about losing the Hero in an arm wrestling last night, so Hero decided to lean in for a smooch. See, I feel like I've seen this picture from the other, the other one, the other photo album. Kel looks so annoyed. Ah, brotherly love. Hold up. Me showing Sunny a book I've been reading. Mari stole my camera and took this when I wasn't paying attention. I should really keep better track of my things. Hold up. It's all of us cuddling with Sunny's stuffed animals. He has so many, and they're all so soft. I wish I could just lay here forever. Mari is teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Here's Sunny and Kel holding Mari's example. It looks perfect, doesn't it? If only Mari thought so too. Hero is still making his flower crown. It's taking him a little while, but he's getting there. You have to admire his persistence. It's raining super hard today. The rain always seems to come out of nowhere during springtime. Aubrey asked me to take a picture of her with her new raincoat. It's her favorite color, pink! Aww, oh, Aubrey. And you also dyed your hair pink too. Aubrey won't like Kel under the umbrella, but Kel seems to be taking it just fine. He says he likes how the rain tastes. I don't know about that, Chief. If I remember correctly, like a few months ago, maybe even a year now, I read an article that I was like, there is no more freshwater rain in the world anymore. All of it is filled with acids and bases or whatnot that is not drinkable. Just Kel being Kel again. We went to Hobbies, but the shop owner told Kel to leave his jacket outside since Kel was getting all his comics wet. Sorry, shopkeep. It's been pretty busy with school lately, but we finally made time to get together and go to the park today. Here's Kel hanging by his legs off a tree. He's such a good climber. I wish I was as fearless as him. It's the first day of summer vacation, so we all wanted to celebrate by going to the beach. Watermelon is Aubrey's favorite. Kel cooling off with some refreshing orange joe. I shouldn't get too close. Or he might get my camera wet. Kel is known to spill his drinks. <laughs> hey, that's me! We buried Sunny in the sand. It took forever, but he looks like he's enjoying himself. 
I wonder if he's going to need help getting out. I guess I'll keep him company until then. Yay! Sunny is turning 12 today! Even though me, Sunny, Aubrey, and Kel are all in the same school year, Sunny is younger than all of us. He's a baby of the group, so we have to take care of him. Sunny holding a super huge present from Mari and Hero. Hmm, I wonder what it is. You can't really tell from the photo, but Mari and Hero got Sunny a giant building block set. Sunny seems much more interested in the box though. He just acts like Mari's new kitten. Mio. Mio. Mio? Mio. Mio. Sunny won't leave the box, so Kel put a food bowl inside. I guess this box will be Sunny and Mio's new home. We're going beetle catching today. Here's Kel ready to pounce on the neck on his next victim. Oh, and Sunny is there too. He looks kind of sleepy. I went to the bathroom and came back to this photo. Kel says he took a picture of himself on accident, but I don't believe him. It's the first day of school today. Me, Sunny, Kel, and Aubrey are up bright and early. Aubrey is so photogenic. Sigh. Goodbye, Summer. Until next year. There's so many. There are so many pictures that are missing, though. I mean, I'm done. Oh man, it looks like a lot of the photos are still missing. Maybe Aubrey kept them for herself. We'll have to get those back later. On the bright side, <laughs> look how short I was. <laughs> I know I've grown at least a foot since Hero left for college. I can't wait until he comes back. This year, I'll finally be the taller brother. <laughs> anyway, don't sweat it about the missing photos, Basil. Me and Sunny will take care of things for you. You just focus on going back to your happy, carefree self. Okay, thank you. I'll try. Sorry about the wait. Dinner is taking longer than I thought. Would any of you boys like to help? Sure, yeah sure, I'll help. I got some experience helping my brother cook and stuff. Oh, that would be lovely. Please follow me, the kitchen is this way. Anything else you gotta say, Basil? Uh, oh, uh, hi, Sunny. Damn, it's been a while since- It's been a while since we talked, right? It's nice to finally see you again. <laughs> Why are you staring at me like that? Um, Sunny? Is everything okay? Should I keep st No, uh, no, I should stop. I should stop. I should stop. 100% should stop. Tonight for dinner, we'll be making chicken vegetable soup. How's that sound? Soup and veggies? Sounds nutritious and delicious. You really think so? I was so afraid you'd be a bit disappointed. I'm sorry, I'm not a vegetable guy. I'd be completely disappointed, but you do you, Kel. People always tell me that my taste is a bit bland. Don't worry about what other people think. All food is good to me. I'll eat anything you throw at me. Dinner will be ready soon. Please feel free to make yourself at home. Alright, so you said make yourself at home. Well, how the hell do you want me to make myself at home? What am I supposed to click? I'm supposed to click on the chairs? Some potted plants. What do we have over here? The more plants, some more plants. Hello, who are you? Basil's grandma is breathing steadily. Aww. A white egret orchid. In the language of flowers, it symbolizes the phrase my thoughts will follow you into your dreams. How poetic. How poetic that this is with Basil's grandmother. Oh, Sunny, I didn't expect to see you in here. <laughs> How are you doing, Sunny? Is everything okay with you? Okay, 
N never mind then. Grandma can't hear us, you know. She hasn't been feeling very well lately. It's already been four years, hasn't it? It's nice that you're still around, even if it's only for a little while. Here, take my photo album. I want you to have it. I'm trusting you with it, okay? I just think you could probably use it more than me. Aww. A lot has happened since those pictures were taken. Sometimes it feels like it was all a bad dream. It's hard to remember now, but I think at the time I took photos of what I was most afraid to lose. Uh, flipping through this album, you can still see the good times. Maybe one day things can go back to the way they were before. Sunny! Basil! Dinner's ready! Uh, okay, uh, coming! I don't know what to say. It would. That's actually a nice gift. A photo album. I've never been a guy who really enjoys photos myself, but. I actually like that. I actually wouldn't mind that. A photo album. But then again, I don't have any photos to share. Me and my friends aren't really. Well, I guess I'm not the. <laughs> God damn it, kill. I'm not the photo type of guy, but. I guess, not really my friends either. What took you so long? Polly and I work really hard on this. Hurry up and take a sheet, Sonny. Polly and Kill's homemade dinner. Yes, sir. Everything tastes so good. You're the best, Polly. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just following Grandma's recipes. Thanks for your help, Kill. Much, 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 much. So, as, as I was saying before, Polly, uh, tomorrow, uh, my older brother, Hero, is finally coming back from college. My mom's all crazy right now. Mm, mm. Preparing the house and everything. Mm. Don't want to be anywhere near that mess. Although, mm, I am pretty sorry to see him. Mm. Every time he comes back, well, the first thing we do is compare heights. Mm, mm, much. Th this year is a year mm, that I'm mm, finally going to be taller than him. I can't mm, feel it in my bones. Bones, you say? Hmm. Are you saying that there's magic in your bones? <laughs> you and your brother seem close. That's good. A family's important. Oh, hey. Mm, what you doing with Basil's photo album there, Sonny? Oh, I, I gave it to him. I just thought he should have it. Whoa, really? Hmm, that's so cool of you. Makes sense. Hmm, especially since Sonny's moving away and all. Uh, what? Uh oh. Sonny's moving? Oh yeah. Oh, I thought I already mentioned it. Hmm. Oh, I must have forgot. Hmm. He's moving in. Three days, I think? Hmm. Sorry, I, I thought you already knew. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, no, I, I guess I must have missed it. S sorry. Um, may I be excused? I, uh, I have to go to the bathroom. Basil? Hmm. What's up with him? Hmm. Oh, well, that's just how it is. When you gotta go, you gotta go. I don't think it's... I don't think... I don't think it's just like that. I genuinely don't think it's like that. Hazel's been going to the bathroom a lot lately. I hope it's not my food. No? Hazel? Everything is going to be okay. 
Everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. Basil? Oh, it's you. Sunny, you're here. I'm so glad. You. You can see it too, can't you? Something behind you. Basil? Sunny, why? Why do you look so scared? Everything is going... It's, everything is okay now, isn't it? Oh, wait! Please, Sunny! Don't leave me! Not again. What the fuck? What the fuck? Let me go back in! Shit, 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 shit. Oh, hey, Sonny. I think it's about time we went home. It's way past my curfew. So, yeah. Anyway, Polly, if you ever need me, here's my address. I live just down the block. Thanks, Kel. You're sweet. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Say goodbye to Basil for me. Basil! Oh, Basil! Aw, poor guy. He's always had a weak stomach. Hope he feels better soon. I'm very concerned now. The last thing he says, don't leave me, not again. And considering that he did say that, I th I think I think I can say that it seems like Sunny and Basil were like the closest had the closest relationship. It's like Basil apparently vents to Sunny all the time, and then Sunny goes. Sunny is back in his house for four years straight, and is that what he means? Not again. You're probably wondering who I am, right? I'm nobody really. Just when she was taking care of Basil's grandmother. A few months ago, Basil's parents hired me as Basil's caretaker, since he travel out of the country frequently. I try to do as much as I can for Basil while I'm here, but ever since I've started staying here, I can't shake the feeling that Basil's trying to avoid me. I wonder if I'm doing something wrong. I don't want to leave. Please be fine, Basil. Okay. Just have to go back have to go back home right I mean from the sounds of it basil is really upset that Sonny is moving soon so don't leave me not again god those are gonna those words are gonna haunt me in my sleep aren't they it is 12 1236 right now because I recorded these three past episodes straight not because I need to not because I need to edit them and uh, edit them and export them real quickly like I did with the last three episodes of mother no because like I generally enjoy playing Omari but fuck don't leave me not again God, those words are gonna haunt me They're gonna haunt me in my fucking sleep wait oh, hold up sunny I know it's been a while since you went over to my place, but now might not be a good time. Well, you, you want to go home, don't you? Or unless you're taking me home. Hey, Sonny. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Sorry for all the trouble. That was a pretty crazy adventure, huh? I can tell you haven't talked to anyone in a while. But that's okay. It just takes practice. Anyway, Hero's coming back from college tomorrow, so I'm sure he'll want to see you before you leave. So if you don't mind, I'll be coming back for you again in the morning. Good night, Sunny. See dreams. Sunny?
fighters? Why are there spiders everywhere? Oh my god, I got my knife back again. Fuck off. Why is... Who are you? See you, bastard. Whispers emanate from inside the box. Fuck off. Why are there so many spiders? Dipshit. What the fuck are you doing in my house? Where are these inner demons that Basil and Sunny see? Oh my god, we have the endless staircase again. Fuck off. So many spiders everywhere. I hate spiders. I fucking hate spiders. Shit. What was that? Shit. Come on, Sonny. Come on. Come on, Sonny. Sonny, come on. Please. Come on. We're almost at the top. Come on, Sonny. Everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. Who are you? Shit. Come on, Sonny. Come on, Sonny. Oh my God. Down, come down, come down. Come on, Sonny. Come on, is this, this isn't real, this isn't real. Shit! This is getting nowhere fast, huh, Sonny? Please, Mr. Something, leave me alone. What did Sonny do? He's just a kid. Come on. It seems like there's a lot going on. You need to block out the little things and figure out what's important. You clearly remind and remember how to focus. Still. Focus. Focus. Okay. The fuck? Who are you? <laughs> fuck. That person. The person who was on the top of the stairs and who was right behind me. Was that... Mari? I mean... I can kind of tell it because of the hair. Then again, her and Aubrey do, do have similar hair hairstyles, but... It only makes sense that it's Mari. 
Dude, come on now. You can't be doing this to me. Who the hell is it? The hell is this? Okay, you should not be playing blackjack, first of all. You just need to go to sleep. Just go to bed. Come on, Sonny. Oh, you're kidding me, Steam. You're actually joking me here. Was that Basil? I mean, in theory, looking at all this now, like, it always did look like it's Basil and Omori or Sunny together. You feeling okay, my guy? So, do you have the real work? Welcome to white space. You've been living here for as long as you can remember. So, like I was going to say, um, here's the thing. It's like, you technically have the real world. Because it looks like, it, from the looks of it, it just looks like Omori is just, it's just the heads. Not how should I say this? It's it's the things that Sonny is thinking. It's just his imagination, his dreams. Because why 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 else does this make sense? Why else can I do I wake up in the middle of the night or in the morning? And why else when I, is it when I go back to sleep? There are. We, we, we're in this fantasy, imagination land, with all of our friends together. Is this what Sunny's yearning for? A white door. Well, nothing really you can really do other than open the door. Nothing in here from white space for me to look through. Oof. Oh my god. Thank you guys. Amori! Welcome back! See, hero? I told you not to worry. Omori always shows up when we need him. Is everything okay, Omori? We were worried about you. Now that you're here, let's go out and look for Basil. He's counting on us. Be patient, Kel! We have to make sure that Omori's okay first. Or maybe you and Hero can go yourselves. Come on, Omori. Let's go exploring together. Just the two of us. Hey, you can't leave us out of this. He's right, Aubrey. We have to do this together as a team. You never know when you'll need someone's help. We're stronger when we work together. Hmm. Omori and I will be fine on our own. You'll protect me, won't you, Omori? Ew, gross! Get a room! Come on, Aubrey. It's time to get serious now. Let's go tell Mari that Omori's okay. You know how she's always worrying about him. Okay, okay, fine. I was just trying to have a little fun. Ugh. I don't like that sentiment. Sss, going out, Tomori. Sss, here is your allowance for today. 750 clams, just what I'd like to see, baby. All right. What am I seeing? No, not that. The thing that I saw on the right. Hi, Mori. Look, Omori's oh, here. Amori! Aww. Oh, Stop!
Stop disappearing like that. You know my heart can't take it. Hmm. So there's still no sign of Basil. Where could he be? We're not sure. We've been looking for him everywhere and still nothing. Ah, I hope Basil's okay. I miss him so much. Yeah, I miss hearing him talk about all the stuff he's into. Like all the flower stuff, and the photo stuff, and the art stuff, and the reading stuff. My hair is so tangly. I miss when Basil used to brush my hair. Amori, will you brush it for me? Well, I miss when Basil used to remind me to wash my hands. Look, they're so dirty! Ew, Kel! Kel, you should probably wash your hands anyway. Everyone, I know it's tough right now, but we have to stay positive. We should all try to be like Basil. Even when Basil's upset, he always manages to smile. So, is there anywhere you haven't checked yet? Well, there is the forest west of the stump, but it's gross and full of spiders. Ugh, spiders. Well, you know what that means. Once again, it's time to face your fears, little brother. And that means you too, hero. Come on, big bro. You can't back out now. It's just like how it is with Amori. We're here to support you all the way. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm just being silly. Don't worry, guys. If anyone or anything tries to hurt you, I'll smash it out of the way. You can count on it. And don't forget about me. I'll always be there to help, too. Yeah, yeah, we can do this together. Let's go to the forest quest of the sump. Lead the way, Omari. Alright, first of all, what do we have over here? Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. Riveting. A Sweetheart for production for Sweetheart by Sweetheart. Anyways, I think I'll leave that all for today. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Pixel Love. And as always, please take care of yourselves out there, ladies and gentlemen. You mean, you mean a lot to this world, whether you like to believe it or not. You are special. Take care, everybody.